Hey there, welcome back to another cosplay video. I'll show you how I handled all of the satin sewing for my Sailor Jupiter cosplay. This consisted of the choker, skirt, collar, and glove rolls. I started with Momo Carino's Magical Girl skirt pattern in my size. However, I didn't have enough satin to cut in one continuous circle, so I cut four pieces of the skirt to sew together later for a full circle. If you're a thicker size, get at least four yards, not the three that Momo suggested. You'll also need the excess for the collar, choker, and glove rolls. The collar pattern I saved from Cosmic Coterie before the main components of their fuku were moved behind a paywall. To begin the collar, I ironed on fusible interfacing for both sides, and then used quilter's tape to line out where I wanted my sailor stripe to go. The quilter's tape tip I got from my Sailor Moon cosplay group, KC Shinshi. Also, particular Shinshi have a set amount of stripes depending on their planet and the version of the uniform. I am making Jupiter's base fuku, which is just two stripes. The stripes that I use are just regular ribbon, and I miter the corners where needed. The quilter's tape help with application so that it's precise. I press pretty hard where I want them to go, especially around the curved parts so that it doesn't come undone. Then it's a matter of sewing the ribbon in place. My Bernina machine is really good for this as there's a high level of precision in where the stitch goes. I sew as close to the edge that I possibly can and I sew slowly and take my time. I only show sewing one stripe in place, but as mentioned, Jupiter has two.
Once the ribbons are secured, it's time to sew the other part of the collar together. Cosmic Coterie states to start in the middle, where the collar would rest against the neck, and sew from there around the perimeter. Prior to doing this, I pinned everything in place and once again sewed close to the edge. This is important to make sure that the collar comes out even in appearance and isn't lumpy, something I made mistakes with in my earlier versions of Sailor Fuku's. If you want to go for extra credit, you can add the two Sailor Stripes to the other part of the collar, but since that's on the underside, no one really looks there. After sewing the collar together, I clipped the corners both at the back and the curved pieces that will have snaps added onto them with the hand sewing hill. Next, I turn it inside out. Off camera, I gave the collar a good press with the iron and sewed the opening shut. Normally, sewing openings calls for a ladder stitch, but my hands cramp a lot with hand sewing, so I opted to do this with the machine. With how voluminous the wig was, no one would be the wiser. Later on for the skirt, I took it with me to my local Bernina dealer, Windmill Sewing Center, where they were having an open sew day leading up to our anime convention. I first sewed the four side seams together and then used my fork and sewing ruler to make pleats in the skirt. Pleating takes a lot of time and often has to be redone several times before you get it just right. I did have to re-pleat the skirt a few times and adjust them to make it what I wanted.
Then, while taking a mental break from bleeding, I later moved on to sewing the glove rolls. This pattern also came from Momo Carino as well. I stitched the glove roll together first, right sides facing, then turned it inside out and adjusted it to where the seam was in the middle. After that, I taped some craft foam to a ruler and then gently placed the ruler inside of the glove roll, moving the roll down gently to have the foam going inside. Once it was secure, I removed the tape and slid the ruler out. Then I ran a single stitch down the center of the back seam to hold it in place. Off camera, I trimmed the edges, ran it through my serger, and turned it inside out. These are supposed to be adhered to the gloves, but since I make all of my Sailor Fuku pieces interchangeable, the rolls would just slide on top and hold the glove in place. Returning to the pleats, it was time to finish them off. I always forget that you should have two box pleats in front and one box pleat in the back to make everything flow. I settled for one box pleat in the rear and one in the back.
The front of the skirt will also have the deep V cut into it, about five inches below the main waistline. I used my heat erasable pen to make those markings and then pinned that in place before going over it with a stitch. Off camera, I also made bias tape to cover the raw edge of the skirt and the choker according to Momo's directions. The skirt is almost finished, which means we are almost finished. You'll see in the spandex video how I made the hip roll, but it was time to pin the hip roll in place. Cosmic Coterie calls for the skirt and the hip roll to be snapped together or sewn together. I like to sew my hip rolls to my skirts and make my skirts just tight enough to where they won't slide off my hips, but just loose enough to where they will stretch a little bit with the hip roll so I can shimmy them on. Think of it as sewing elastic, especially since the hip roll is covered in spandex and the craft home has some flexibility. The great thing about a fuku is that you can modify it to suit your preferences and body type easily.
I hung the skirt on my dress form to let the pleat settle before I used the hem ruler to mark what I wanted to cut off. Then after evening the hem, I used my serger to clean up the frayed ed edges and then folded the hem under for one final stitch. This is where some cosplayers add horsehair braids to give it that flounce. I opted not to do this since it also adds weight and the skirt is already hanging a little loosely on my hips. A few safety pins helped solve this though. For the final stretch, it was hand sewing hell, and I added giant snaps on the back of the hip roll for the butt bow to adhere to. I used Neptune skirt for visualization on how I did this before.
All in all, Jupiter came out to be a phenomenal cosplay. And though I had a bump or two along the way, I'm still proud of my work and craftsmanship. 